things in different ways. That chalice sounds great. So we're going to play out this pedal, and then we're going to play this chalice on one through spell pierce. Yeah, opponent has the option to play Blood Moon a lot of the time, too. He has a Volcanic Island in his deck, so he likely has it. Oh, did our opponent mulligan this game, or you just have play two tops out? I'm sure they keep the age kept their hand. All right, no, he didn't mulligan. All right. Thanks, Joe Slip. I appreciate that. I do my best, you know. Just doing my best to get by. Get by with a little help from my friends. We got these sneak attacks. Hopefully we get to put some big fat fatties in the play next turn. Monastery Mentor. All right. That's pretty good. Battle of the Three Drops. Hopefully we just hit Nemercool this turn. Spirit Guide. So what does that allow us to do? Um... Well, we're definitely... What was your favorite limited format? I don't really play limited. You'll never see me stream limited on here, and I rarely play it in paper. I think I want to play Trinisphere here just because it stops Mentor from going nuts and gives us time to draw out. The question is, do I bin the Sandstone Needle or the Lotus Petal to do it? I think I'm supposed to bin the Lotus Petal to do it. Awesome, Beth and Texas. I appreciate you watching. I think we're supposed to do this. He has a force here. If he had force before, he might not have used it on the chalice because he had mentor to make the one drops relevant anyways. If he has force, I wouldn't be surprised to see him use it on that. So I don't think he does. So now we're just like waiting on a fatty here. Uh, there's no, literally no drawback to having buys. Uh, you have to sit around for the first two hours of the tournament. Sometimes more than that. Alright, well, that's a draw. Put sneak attack into play. Alright, he had a force. Either that or there was a force on top of his deck. Alright, we're only... We're only one mana off of being able to put this other sneak attack into play. MG Philly. Thanks, Fitz. I appreciate that, man. Y'all are the best. The best kind of people. 58 out of 100. Yeah, right. Buys are only bad when you're playing for almost nothing and you'd rather just be playing Magic. Limited is a PT and GP format. Yeah, I, only, I pretty much only play Magic on the SCG circuit. So, Big Nuki with the sub. 59 out of 110 new subs on the evening. Y'all are great. Allow me to produce not fits. Oh, this is uh, your David. D Philly. Got it. I'm an idiot. What do you do for food at your opens? I I uh, I usually bring a bag of trail mix. Yeah, my brain is off. In my defense, I played a PPTQ until 4 a.m. last night, and now I'm here again. Come on, untapped mana source, untapped mana source next turn, and we get to if we hit like City of Traders or Ancient Tomb, we get to Inferno Titan away this Monastery Mentor. Please, please, come on, come on, R and Jesus, come on, we've been good this year. Give us a soul land. <sighs> that's not a soul land. The real question, yeah, I think we just ship back. That's fine. I was going to say, the real question is, do we jam the Rabble Master in here? But I think his mentor is racing Rabble Master at this point. Now he has time to look for a Force of Will. Ugh, that's really good. We're still live to a Soul Land next turn. So this turn we're taking seven, and then we're probably dead next turn. So we need to hit, we need to hit a Soul Land next turn. We need to hit a... I boarded out the Seething Songs like a big old monkey that I am. So we don't have Seething Songs to hit. But Trinisphere's done work in its defense. So we need to hit City of Traders or Ancient Tomb. Come on, dealer. Come on. Eight draws out of 48. <sighs> I guess we hope he doesn't have a spell to cast next turn to trigger these. Probably does. This is just one, one turn too late, Sandstone Needle. Your country needed you, Sandstone Needles. And you came in to play tapped. And 
We needed you. And you, you let us down. Oh, and he can just draw the top. Got it. GG's opponent. GG's. Now We were so close. We were so close. Womp womp. Alright, let's scoop another one. We're gonna get him this time. Not one of those big meanie pants miracles players. We're gonna get someone that's got like mother of runes in their deck or some bad card like that. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Toddler camera. Say hi to the internet, Jake. Say hi. Hi, internet. Hi. Hi, hi internet. Ow. You trying to type on the keyboard? You're a brat. Ow. All you want to do is hit buttons. Who's that? Who's that toddler on the computer screen? <laughs> you can press buttons while we're not in a match. Deal. What does modern dredge even look like? Vines and blood gas and such. Yeah, it's it's, it's they call it dredge vine in modern. You don't have things like um, playing black control. PG and Sally missed the bucket push of screams. Any edits and important realizations? Um, we went three two. I kept some bad hands in one, and we got savaged in the other. It seems fine. I think I'm happy with the configuration with the three Seeker, three Ruinous Path. I've been pretty pretty content with most of the cards in the deck, I think. Misty Rainforest with the follow. Welcome to the stream. Dulath, we'll be back to playing a bunch of Modern come April when we get our format back. How does this deck match up against Delver Lift? We have a ton of must... The, the Delver deck basically can't beat anything that we do if it resolves. So, if one of our things sticks, the Delver deck loses. If it doesn't, we get... If, it, if we can't stick anything, we get got. Yeah, I know. I'm a sinner, and we have a mismatched Lotus Petal. We have a mismatched City, and we've got two mismatched Seething Songs. I don't own any of these cards. Our sponsor below the stream, Card Hoarder. They're awesome. If you ever need to buy digital magic cards, you can support the stream by checking them out. Um... They uh, they provide all the cards for me to stream with. They're great people, and they help enable a lot of Magic streamers to produce the content for everyone. <laughs> all you want to do is play on my keyboard, huh? Yeah. 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 Uh, leagues are definitely better than dailies on average, not only for your time commitment, but the EV is reasonable. You have to be winning a lot larger percentage of your matches to make daily events be worth it over leagues. And then even then, once you factor in that daily events are just such a large time commitment, they're really not even worth it. I would like to play first. We're winning all the die rolls. This is great. Uh, turn two, Blood Moon. Yeah, it's probably fine on the play. I'd mulligan this on the draw, I think, but on the play, turn two, Blood Moon is fine. All right. We can't, we can't punch the keyboard while Dad's playing. I know, I know, you're upset. You're upset. Ugh, angry toddler. Oh no! Our opponent's doing unfair things too! Oh, this is, uh... Oh, I know who this is. I'm blanking on his name. I've roomed with him before. We're getting turned ones. Man. Welcome to Legacy. Enjoy your stay. Turn two blood burn. Too slow. Died on one. Legacy's a sweet format. It's like battle cruiser magic. Everyone's just trying to blow each other up with big obnoxious things. Tin fins. Jacob Corey. That's it. Yep. Spent some time with him at the Seattle Open in 2014. Really sharp guy. Unless he bricks off here, we're probably dead. He drew a lot of cards, so he needs Lotus Petal, Children of Coralos to kill us this turn, essentially. There's a Lotus Petal. Black Mana, Dark Ritual, gonna draw some more cards. Oh, is he just gonna put Emrakul into play if he drew Emrakul? So for those of you that aren't familiar, our opponent's deck is going to discard Emrakul and then Emrakul us next turn. So we're going to board in Trinisphere 
and Magus of the Moon and board out Worm Coil and Chandra. What am I supposed to board out? Worm Coil and Chandra seem like good cuts. I'm going to check my sideboarding cheat sheet here. He is... He successfully Tindar fins. You are not wrong. Tin fins can kill with tendrils also sometimes. Yep. It's like storm reanimator is what it's called. Three more cuts. I think it's Seething Song because we don't want to, we want to get, we want three mana on turn one, not, uh, not a bunch more than that later. Sneaks, no, I, we need Sneaks to actually win the game. I think it's Seething Song. Oh, we're playing against Tinfins right now. He just killed us on turn one. Yeah, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go by cutting the Seething Songs here. We just want to, like, maximize our ability to play 3-mana thing on turn 1 with our Simeon Spirit Guides and our Soul Lands. Um, keep. This hand's super obnoxious. So we get to the one, the one Seething Song we left in the deck. This is the old, the old Singleton Seething Song. Opponent appears to be F6, so that's great. Turn one Blood Moon, turn one Chalice. Go. Your move. That's all I got. Your turn. I just talked about not, not thinking Seething Song was very good. Use it to great effect. Huh. Maybe I'm supposed to put this on zero. We are just the unluckiest. How unlucky are we? <laughs> ah! How many, he can't he can't possibly have more than like more than like one of those in his sideboard, right? Right? That's got to be a one of Is this this is real. Uh, now we're gonna die. Oh, we're so dead. Lesson learned: always put the chalice on zero when we have the blood boot as well. We're getting wrecked so hard, D money. We're just, we're getting so wrecked. And look at all these basic lands that are in his deck. I'd fight someone in IRL today. <laughs> Resolves. That wasn't even fair. All right, sneak attack resolved. Step one. Uh, I played the sneak attack because I didn't want to get a Cabal therapy, and then we got Shade of Vapored. Nothing is going right. Everything that is wrong has gone wrong. All we wanted to do was string cheese people, and these people, they just want to interact with us. It's so rude. Every time we do a thing, he does he undoes our thing. It's just not even fair. All right, GG's, mate.